Well, hello and welcome to this short exercise on word problem that involves percentages and cyclic quadrilateral. Now, this is a typical foundation tier and higher uh, exam question for uh, IGCSE and GCSE and also for ninth grade algebra and for GED math. Now, there are two questions here. The first one is, uh, a man left his money to his three sons, four daughters, and his wife. Now, each son received twice as much as each of the daughters. Now, all four daughters received the same amount of money. Now, meanwhile, his wife received a quarter of all his money. What percentage of the total amount did each son or each daughter receive? Right. Now, what I've done here is to try and illustrate this rather, uh, graphically, if it's what I mean here. I've got three sons and then four daughters and a wife, and then I also got the total there. So, if we say that each daughter received uh, X dollars, which that means that each son will receive two X dollars there, and the wife receives 6,000. Okay? Now, because this is uh, a quarter of all his money, so the total would then be 6,000 times 4. And that's what he got there. So if we then add up uh, 2x plus 2x, that's 4x, 6x, 7x, 8x, 9x, 10x, and then 6,000. Now all of that will be equal to $24,000. If we subtract 6,000 from both sides, we have that 10x is equal to uh, $18,000. If we then divide both sides by 10, we end up with x is equal to $1,800. If we double that for each of the sums, we have that 2x is $3,600 now. Now as a percentage, we do um, 3600 divided by 24,000 times 100 because we want to express this proportion as a percentage. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we've got 15% there, and if we are right, that the daughter's percentage should be 7.5%, and that's what we got there. Now to check, now if that's 15, 30, 45, this 45, the 45 um, percentage there, and this 4x will give us uh, 30%, 30 plus 45 will give us 75%, and the wife receives 25%, so 75 plus 25 gives us 100%. So we're right, we checked. Now, for the second question, we have that um, two opposite angles. The opposite angles of a second quadrilateral are 3x plus 10 degrees and 2x plus 20 degrees. Now, this is a cyclic quadrilateral there, okay? Uh, the opposite angles of any cyclic quadrilateral will add up to 180 degrees. So that add that give us 180 degrees or that add that give us 180 degrees so now for our equation if we then do 3x plus 10 which is this one here plus that one there should give us 180 degrees if we then collect like terms we have that 5x plus 30 is equal to 180 degrees and if we then subtract 30 from uh, both sides we end up with 5x is equal to oh, 150 degrees if we divide by 5 on each side we have x is equal to 30 degrees if we then substitute this value of x into the original question itself so 3 times 30 is 90 90 plus 7 gives us 100 degrees and 2 times 30 is 60 60 plus 20 will give us 80 degrees so our angles will then be 100 degrees and 80 degrees, respectively. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye now.